Good afternoon. We will be studying Chapter 3, Decision Procedure, Part 1. What do you understand by a decision procedure? A decision procedure is defined as a method of deciding whether an object belongs to a certain class. In logic, decision procedure is used to decide whether the truth functional statement form is tautology, contradiction or contingency. These are the three statement forms which we will be studying in detail. It is used to test whether the argument is valid or invalid. There are five types of decision procedures. First is truth table. Second is shorter truth table. Third is truth tree. Fourth is conjunctive normal form. And fifth is disjunctive normal form. Now let us understand the characteristics of a decision procedure. Reliable. First thing a decision procedure is reliable. That is we get the correct answer provided we use the method and the rules of logic correctly. So whatever rules on which the decision procedure is based, those rules are to be used correctly to get the correct answer. Second, it is mechanical meaning to construct it. We follow certain steps in a certain order and these steps are to be followed mechanically and there is no scope for one's imagination, intuition and intelligence. Third, the decision procedure is finite. That is, it contains limited number of steps and the last step for getting the answer. Now we come to the nature of truth table. Let us see the definition of truth table. A truth table is a tabular way of expressing the truth value of expressions. That is the truth functional compound propositions containing propositional connectives. What do you understand by this definition? Means whatever truth values the truth functional compound proposition has those truth values you are expressing in a table form that is called truth table now let us see the construction of truth table the truth table has two parts one is the matrix and the other is the truth function what do you understand by matrix of a truth table? Matrix of the truth table contains combination of propositional variables from the given expression which further has rows and columns. So matrix contains the number of propositional variables which is given in the statement. And that is truth functional compound statement or proposition. And the matrix also has columns and rows. Now, what do you understand by truth function? It is the main connective of the expression on which the truth value of the whole expression functions or depends. Now let us see how to know the columns and rows of a matrix. The number of columns of a matrix of a truth table is equal to the number of propositional variables in the given expression and the number of rows is equal to 2 raised to n where n are the number of propositional variables. Now let us see 
how to construct the matrix, the number of propositional variables. Suppose we have P and the number of columns will be equal to the number of propositional variables. So now you have only one P. So the number of columns will also be one and the number of rows will be two raised to N that is two raised to one that is two only once. That is you have number of rows as two. Then suppose the number of propositional variables are P and Q means there are two propositional variables. So the number of columns will definitely be equal to the number of propositional variables. So it will also be 2 and the number of rows will be 2 raised to n that is 2 raised to 2 that is equal to 2 multiplied by 2 means 2, two times twice. So that gives you 4. So the number of rows will be 4. Now suppose we have in the given expression as P, Q, R. So there are three propositional variables. So the number of columns will be 3 and the number of rows will be 2 raised to N. That is 2 raised to 3. That is 2 3 times. That is 2 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 2 is equal to 8. Now suppose the number of propositional variables are P, Q, R, S. Then the number of columns will be 4 because the number of propositional variables are 4. And so the number of rows will be 2 raised to n. That is equal to 2 raised to 4. That is 2 4 times. That is 2 into 2 into 2 into 2. That is equal to 16. This is the way we get the number of rows and columns in the matrix of a truth table. Now, in the truth function, we are going to write the given expression. That is, P dot P is given to you. Then you write P dot P. If P which curl Q is given to you, the given symbolic form of that statement is given, then you write P which curl Q. Now, in the first case, you can see that there is only one propositional variable. The number of rows are 2. So, half of 2 is 1. So, you divide equally the truth values. 1 true and 1 false. Now, suppose there are two propositional variables. So, the rows will be 4. Half of 4 will be 2. So, in the first column, Below P, we will have two trues and two false. In the second column, below Q, we will have one true and one false. Means we must go on making it half, half. Half of four is two, half of two is one. So in the first column, half of four is two. So two trues and two false. And the second column, half of 2 is 1, that is 1 true and 1 false. So, always remember the vertical are the columns and horizontal are the rows. What do you understand by vertical and horizontal? Vertical means straight from up to down. Vertical means from up to down. And rows means from left to right, left to right, left to right, left to right. These are the rows. Okay. So there are four rows. One, two, three and four rows. And one, two columns. Your rows are one, two and column is one. Because the propositional variable is one. So, column will be 1 and rows will be 2 raised to 1, that is 2, 1 and 2. Now, suppose in the expression we have three propositional variables. You can see here P, Q and R. So, we will have 
in the matrix the combination of propositional variables as p q r and below p what you will get 2 raised to 3 that is equal to 8 so half of 8 is 4 so in the first column you will have 4 trues and 4 false in the second column half of 4 is 2 so you will have 2 trues and 2 false 2 trues and 2 false and in the third column you will have half of 2 that is 1 it is 1 true and 1 false 1 true and 1 false till the end of the rows you are going to write it so total 8 rows okay when we have three propositional variables this is the way we write the matrix of the truth table So, in this session, we have learned what is a decision procedure, what is a truth table, and how to construct the matrix of the truth table. Thank you.